Hello everyone. Right, a couple of disclaimers about this video. One, the sound quality is not perfect. The microphone I was meant to pick up, this one here, um, it didn't, but the sound quality is still pretty decent. It's just not to my usual standard. Also, this is a free tool to use, uh, this uh, Adobe Firefly, um, and it's very, very good, but it's not free free, okay? I actually found out whilst recording this that you only get a certain amount of credit to use for free. It is still well worth trying out though and the actual premium version is not that expensive. I'll cover all that in the, in the video. Just watch it and you'll see that it's a really good tool. Um, I was quite amazed by it in all honesty. Anyway, on with the video. Welcome everybody to this training video. In this video we're going to look at Adobe Firefly but what we're going to do, I'm going to, let me just show you actually. You see this image, yeah that's me. Yeah, me with a baseball cap and headphones on. The thing is, I'm not actually wearing a baseball cap or headphones in this image. Yeah, I'll find you the original image. Let me have a look. There we go. There's the, uh, there's the original image. Yeah. I've used Adobe Firefly very quickly and easily to turn this image into this image here by using AI. I'm quite amazed by this. So because of that, I thought I'd show you how I did it. So let's have a look at it. So Adobe Firefly, <coughs> I've Googled it. Here we have it, those Adobe products. Also disclaimer, I'm not sponsored or paid or anything by Adobe. I'd like to be. So Adobe, if you want me to do any work for you, um, please reach out to me, but I'm not paid. I wish I was. Um, so I'm just showing this tool because I really like it. Anyway, look at Adobe Firefly and what I'll do you know, show me on this page all the different things you can do with it. But I'll go to Get Adobe Firefly Free. I like free things. So it offers lots of things in this tool. It offers, you've probably seen these type of things where you can write, you know, what it's doing here, write a piece of text and then generate an image from that. So you can do all of that type of thing. Also, they've got this, uh, all of these here, images that have been generated by the community. So people have typed in descriptions and these are things that have come through. And you can click on these and you can you know, click on view as an example on this one here. And you've got this image, you know, you can tour through it and see what you want to do. You can change the structure of it and styles and that type of thing. But yeah, I'm not really that concerned about that. What I want to do is, is the bit I was just showing you before. I've just shown you how to slightly modify images of myself to make them look better for my needs. Particularly useful as I go create a, you know, a YouTube thumbnail or I'm doing something for work where I need a picture of me in a baseball cap. So let's show you how to do that. Now I find you know this area here that I'm, I'm in I find it really hard to get to it. So the way I get to it and by the way in the comments if you know how to get to it you know in a better way then please do tell me. What I do I go to from memory to this one here there you go. So I'm on this. I don't want to use this. I click back and it takes me to this page. Now, Adobe, you shouldn't do that. That should be going back to the menu, but it doesn't matter because this is where I want to be. You've got this bit here. It says expand images and use a brush to remove objects or paint new ones and I can upload a picture. So I can click on that and upload it or I can get my file here. I can drag and drop. So I'm prepared. I'll use this file here. I'll drag and drop. There you go. Instantly loaded. You've then got these bits here for insert, remove, expand and pan. So pan is moving around. If you've zoomed in, you'd, you'd click on that and you'd move your page around. What I want to do is I'm going to use insert. So I'm going to give myself a baseball cap. So what I'll do, I'll draw over the area where I want it to be. All right, so there we go, it's going over my head. Right, and you can always modify this later on. So that looks about baseball cap size. And then it's a bit here says prompt. So enter prompt here, optional. Well, I want to enter a prompt. So I'll put in baseball cap and then I'll click generate. Now you've got to give us a moment. It takes, well, I'll assume for now, 15, 20 seconds. And what it does it generates three options for me. And if I don't like those options, I can add in extra ones. And there you go. So we created this baseball cap for me. Click on that one now. Yeah. Some of them not perfect, by the way. That's terrible. That first one's quite good. But let's try again. We'll go for more. And as I say, it'll generate more options for me. I can already see it's like, you know, defects there. So maybe I want to just move that and my cursor over that to make it a bit better. Well, saying that, now that baseball cap's excellent. 
Oh, what's it done to my eyebrows in that one? And that one there is good as well. Notice it adds a shadow as well. So this one here is added a little bit of a shadow. You can see a bit of a shadow there on my head coming in. And that baseball cap, to me, you know, if I show that to my partner, she would not know that I'm not wearing a baseball cap. She might question why, you know, where do I get the baseball cap from? Because I don't have this one at home. But that's how you do it. And I'm happy with that. I'll click keep. So what else in my example do I do? I add in some headphones for myself. So I'll do that. So I'll put in some headphones around here. And go over here on that one as well. And put headphones. I'll click generate. And it's going to generate headphones. And what I could have done, I could have had it going over the top here. So the, the, the band for the headphone goes over there as well. Let's see what it does. There you go. Generate some headphones. Looks all right. Looks good. Looks maybe even better. But you know, you wouldn't necessarily know that I'm not wearing those headphones in real life. You wouldn't know that they're not AI generated. What am I going to do? I've never tried this before. I shall just keep this. I'm happy with that. I'm going to try and remove my ring. Okay. You can also change the point size as well of the brush. Let's move it down. Um, so there we go. I just press escape on my keyboard to do that. So, Let's say, let's go to generate. Let's see what it does. I'm not giving it a prompt. I'm interested to see what it does here. Is it just going to fill it in with my finger? Or is it going to do something else? Oh wow, nice. Change it slightly. Yeah, that's perfect. You wouldn't, you'd just think I've taken my wedding ring off. So um, when I'm on, next, uh, on my Tinder profile, and I would want my wife to find out. And there you go, remove my wedding ring. I'll keep that. What else can I do to it? Um, you can, you know, should we go to a different image? What I can do from this, I'm happy with this. I think this is absolutely fantastic. What I can do is I can download it. So click download. There you go. It's downloaded it here. It's a PNG file. I could then add it into, as it's suggesting here, add it into Adobe Express, which if you've not used Adobe Express, it's much like Canva. Um, I actually prefer it to Canva. So you can just drag it into there and use that in your YouTube thumbnails and flyers and whatever else. So there's that. If you want to give it a name, can we do names? No, you can't do names. Oh, well. It's a free feature. Not mind too much. Let's go back. Let's add in a different image. So these are images of myself. So let's there go. Add in that image there. So actually, let's find a better image. I've got one. I want one looking a bit more front on. So... That there you go, a bit more front on. Let's have a bit of fun with it. I can, let's click on this, do that there. Already looks like I have some kind of devil horns, so let's do that. Devil horns, generate, give it just a moment to generate some images, and when they appear, da -da 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 -da, there you go, devil horns. That's great. So, that's how easy it is. Now, looking at the quality of those, you'd think I've bought those devil horns from a shop. And, you know, just I'm just wearing them for the photo. You wouldn't know otherwise. So this is very good. Now, I wonder if I can be a little bit naughty. Let's put a sword. Okay, so put a sword in there. Let's see what that's got. I was trying to get in between the fingers, but I didn't. Um, so I've got a sword. Again, I could have changed my brush size. So I could get in that little gap in there, but I'm recording the video. I'm a little bit lazy, so I didn't do that. Let's just see how good this makes a sword for me. Oh, look at that. That is, that's impressive. There we go. Looks a bit cartoony, but that one there is good. There you go. Had a sword in. Great. And it seems to have sorted out the whole gap there. It's adjusting my finger a little bit. Make me look like gripping it a bit more, maybe. Makes me look like a very small finger there. So you have to look out for all these little defects, like that is a defect. Looks like I've got a finger chopped off. That one there looks a bit better. But you can see how quick and easy it was for me to, to do that. Now if I was to say to someone, could you edit a photo giving me devil horns and a sword in my hand, it would take a long time. How for me to actually just take a photo of devil horns, which I don't own, and a sword, which I don't own, it would take me even longer. So that's how you do that. Let's get another picture though. Let's add in a picture of um, of me. You probably recognise these images from my thumbnails because this is what I do. I just point at random objects so I can create thumbnails for my YouTube videos. And you can go to 
remove. So it can actually just remove something. Let's try that. Just have to remove it. So remove the finger and give it a moment. I'm hoping it makes it look like my finger is just not there. It's got the wall behind it. Good. It's not perfect, but then again, there's always going to be a hard task for it to do. And I could have rounded it off a little bit more. But, you know, you wouldn't necessarily notice straight away. You might think something's a bit weird in there. Bad example. But you get the idea. It's taken the, the, the thing to focus on is the fact that the background is exactly as it should be. I wouldn't know that that part of my wall is any different. So I'll cancel that. What you can also do is go to select background. You can actually remove the entire background. Okay, so the entire background's gone. And I go to remove. Now, let's see what it does with this. Now, it's just putting like a frosty background for me. I cancel that. I reset that. Yeah, I've got my finger back as well because I didn't save any of those things. If I was to go to insert, go to select background, and now, so I went insert select background, now I can say what I want. So let's say um, the matrix, I go to generate. So I'm hoping I get something behind me which is kind of black and green writing on it. So it looks like I'm in the matrix. Yeah. Keanu Reeves film, 1998 or something to that effect. So have a look. There you go. That's exactly what I wanted. That's good. That is quicker than me removing the background elsewhere, inserting the image in something, finding the image of the matrix, putting it on there, moving me to the front. Yeah, it's done the job for me. I think that's very good. But instead of the matrix, let's go for um, maybe, let's go for a volcano. That's a volcano behind me. And what I'll do, I'll do two. I'll do one with a volcano behind me, and I'll, I'll do one with a bit more detail on it. I'll then show you how to add in additional things. So that is a volcano. That's a bit better. That's not that great. Let's go with then. Let's do a volcano with lava um, shooting out. So I've given it a lot more detail. So those images before were just a volcano. They were correct. They are a volcano, but they're not what I wanted. I want that kind of red lava spewing everywhere. That's more like it. Look at that. Easy, you know, so we could go for that. And let's keep that. And then we're going to insert. I want just in here. Um, yeah, so you can pick a certain area and you can say uh, eagle. Yeah, I'm going to add in an eagle. Eagle bird. Let's hopefully we'll add in a picture of a nice eagle in there. Maybe that's the thing that I'm pointing at in the photo. Look at that. There you go. Add in an eagle. And keep that. I'm going to insert. Yeah, put it in there. Alien. I'm going to show you something else after this as well. I'm going to show you where it's important you know, to kind of draw these how you want them. Ah, get more generations and remove watermarks with a premium plan. Adobe, Adobe. To be fair, I think this is absolutely fantastic. So, you know, £4.49 a month is not bad at all. Or I can do this for the whole Adobe Express, which appears to include it as well. And there goes nine ninety eight a month. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do it, but I've run, run out of examples. But... What I was going to say is that your shape here is what, what is going to be created. So this shape here is the shape that I built. Um, if I just done a shape which was just, see if it let me, just that, and I said insert an image of a bird, it would fit it in here. So really, if I want an image of a bird, you think, well, how big do I want the bird to be? Or do I want just a bird there? You, know, you could say insert an image of an egg. The egg would fit nicely. But if I was to say insert the image of a, or a bus or a car, it would go in there, but it could be very small. So you've got to you know, kind of get the, the, the size that you want. So if I was to say, you know, insert the image of a, of a bus, it would fit it in here and it'd be that size. Anyway, let's have a look. One more thing then. Let's, uh, what I've done here, I've just downloaded this. This is the image I had earlier on, much earlier in the video with the baseball cap. 
And these, you can see it has an Adobe Firefly on there. So it's got a watermark on that. Not the end of the world. You could no doubt cover it up. Um, not suggesting you do that, but you could. And if you used to pay for a premium plan, you wouldn't have that on there. Anyway. So if I just go into Adobe Firefly, you can see, you can remove backgrounds and all that type of thing. You can create different images entirely. You can do generative fill and expand. Let's see if it will let me do that, considering I've just run out of credits. Let's go for this here. Generative expand. So I'll try it. So I've got this image here of this lion. Expand that over there. And what it's going to do in these gaps, I'm hoping the gap over here is going to fill it in with more of the picture. So to generate, give it a moment. Ah, for that credit, but it would, it'd fill that in and then show me what it thinks the rest of the picture looks like. A very useful tool, I think it's good. It is something I consider purchasing, uh, absolutely. I think it's very impressive what it does. It saved me a lot of time as well. So, yes, it's going to cost me £4.49 a month, but it's going to save me a lot of time. And you can see it generates some really good uh, AI, which, as I say, I think a lot of people wouldn't even realize that this is not my baseball cap and not my headphones without you know, really interrogating the picture. Hopefully you found this useful, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, thank you very much and enjoy using Adobe Firefly.